it's no secret that Marshall Mathers, aka Eminem, has had a turbulent relationship with his ex-wife Kim Scott Mathers, but new details have emerged that reveal just how toxic things actually were between the couple. And can you remember when Eminem spit the line, now everybody from the 313 put your mother hands up and follow me. Now it looks like we'll get a chance to follow him again. So stay tuned and don't go away because a former bodyguard claims Eminem was terrified of his ex-wife. Plus, 50 Cent and Eminem are making a TV show of 8 Mile. First up, was Eminem and Kim's relationship really as toxic as his rap lyrics suggest? Absolutely, and then some. Eminem's romance with his ex-wife, Kim Scott, caused both parties a ton of stress and heartache. One of Eminem's former bodyguards has spoken up and revealed that Eminem was terrified of Kim. The rocky relationship goes back to when the aspiring rapper was only 15 years old and Kim was 13. The two became high school sweethearts and eventually had a daughter named Haley Jade in 1995. Eminem and Kim married in 1999, but things soured fast as Eminem's star power began to rise, and the couple divorced in 2001. His track titled Kim, released in 2000, featured some straight-up nasty lyrics about Kim, and she went on to claim that the song gave her suicidal thoughts. Surprisingly, the two remarried in 2006, but split up just a few months later, and they would never reconcile again. You might think that M held a position of power in the relationship considering his global fame, money, and bad boy image, but that was certainly not the case. Writing in his tell-all book, M's former bodyguard Byron Williams claims, I saw her throw a lamp at Eminem on a tour bus, knocking him down. Man, he is terrified of her. She is one tough lady and big bigger than him. Williams further claimed that the only reason Eminem remained married to Kim was that he was afraid she would take Haley away from him. Despite seemingly getting her life back on track, Kim found herself hospitalized in July 2021 after she attempted self-harm. Kim became irate with law enforcement officers and was sent to the hospital for medical and psychiatric evaluation. Next up, are we about to see a TV adaptation of Eminem's 2002 biopic 8 Mile? You bet! They call him 50, aka Ferrari. F50, and he recently dropped the news that he's working on a TV show adaptation of the 2002 film 8 Mile, which was based on Eminem's life. 50 Cent and Eminem are partnering to produce the series, and during a recent interview, 50 said, I'm gonna bring his 8 Mile to television. We're in motion. It's gonna be big. I ain't got no duds. I'm batting 100. I'm batting 100. I think it should be there for his legacy because it's important to me that they understand it. The series will provide a backstory and showcase Eminem's younger years. Directed by Curtis Hansen, 8 Mile was released in 2002 and stars Eminem in a story that was loosely based on his life and rise to stardom. Eminem plays Jimmy, a white rapper that uses the stage name B-Rabbit, and audiences see his journey to launch his hip-hop career. The film starred Kim Basinger, Brittany Murphy, Michael Shannon, Mikai Pfeiffer, and many others. Eminem actually won an Oscar for Best Original Song, Lose Yourself. After 50 Cent's interview, he shared a screenshot of an article and captioned it with the words, yeah, and you thought I was playing around. I'm so serious, man. This is going to be crazy. But right now, I want to know what all of you are thinking. Are you excited to see an 8 Mile TV adaptation? You know what to do. Drop those comments down below. Up next, what was the overall impact of Eminem's story in 8 Mile? It was massive. In 2002's 8 Mile, Eminem's B-Rabbit is an aspiring rapper who works at a factory and lives in a trailer park with his mom and sister. He he has a rough relationship with his mother, who is an alcoholic and constantly fights with her boyfriend Greg, who is abusive and controlling. The only thing that gives B-Rabbit any comfort is rapping and freestyling with his friends at a nearby hip-hop club called The Shelter. He becomes friends with a rapper named Future and makes a name for himself in the underground rap scene. B-Rabbit develops a relationship with Alex, an aspiring model and co-worker at the factory with him. 8 Mile received positive reviews and grossed more than $241 million dollars at the global box office. The movie received high praise for its portrayal of the struggles aspiring rappers face and Eminem's emotionally charged performance. The film ultimately received numerous awards and, as we mentioned earlier, an Academy Award slash Oscar for Best Original Song. The first time I saw the film, I was immediately and pleasantly surprised by B-Rabbit's pride regarding his self-possessed white trash roots and existence. During the final rap battle against Papa Doc, B-Rabbit spits things like, 
I am white, I am a f***ing bum, I do live in a trailer park with my mom. At the end of his rap, he says, I'm a piece of f***ing white trash, I say it proudly. Those are some powerful and arguably inspiring lyrics. B-Rabbit owns and even brags about his humble existence, and in doing so, earns the respect of every single person in the crowd at the shelter. What did you think of 8 Mile the first time you saw it? Stay tuned and don't go away because we're revealing everything we know about Slim Shady. Next up, what was Eminem's motivation behind his surprise appearance at the 2020 Oscars? Let's take a look. Eminem shocked the world at the 2020 Academy Awards when he appeared on the stage to perform a special rendition of Lose Yourself, and after his performance, he revealed the motivation behind his surprise appearance, which marked the first time he ever appeared at the opulent event. A clip of 8 Mile was being shown at the Oscars, and seeing that Eminem had a new album dropping soon, the Oscar-winning rapper decided it would be a perfect opportunity to blow the roof off the place. Back in 2003, Eminem famously skipped the Oscars, even though Lose Yourself was named by the Academy as the winner of Best Original Song. During a recent interview, Eminem explained his decision to skip the Oscars and said, Back then, I never even thought that I had a chance to win, and we had just performed Lose Yourself on the Grammys with The Roots a couple of weeks before the Oscars, so we didn't think it was a good idea. And also, back at that time, the younger me didn't really feel like a show like that would understand me. But then when I found out I won, that's crazy. That to me shows how authentic and real that award is, when you don't show up and you still win. That makes it very real to me. In fact, Eminem was so sure he wasn't going to win an Oscar that he didn't even watch the ceremony on TV. He was caring for his young daughter at the time and was actually sleeping when he was named the winner. When Eminem finally won the Oscar, he received a phone call from his keyboard player, Luis Resto, who accepted the award on Eminem's behalf. Eminem explained, So Resto called me, and I remember the phone kept ringing, and I'm like, Mother f I'm trying to sleep. But I answered and he's like, Hey man, you won. I did? cool, but that was a different time and I was in a different place in my life. Up next, what are Eminem's top 10 best tracks of all time? You're about to find out. Coming in at number 10 is Kim. Critics have called the track a horrifying document of abuse. It broke new ground for Eminem and hip-hop as a whole, with a bold and dark style. Eminem's influence on rap with Kim is comparable to the hardcore and punk movements that would change the face of rock and roll. Coming in at number 9 is White America. In this track, one of the most popular lines is when M refers to America as the divided states of embarrassment. Here, M literally attacks everyone, and his words hit like fists. He slammed the music industry, the federal government, and the hypocrisy of his own fan base. And of course, his fans loved him for it. Maybe that's why they call him the rap god. Coming in at number 8 is the very powerful track Cleaning Out My Closet. Here, M makes some disturbing admissions. Case in point, saying to his mother, you selfish Coming in at number 7 is Role Model. The opening line of this track hits hard. M says, I'm cancerous, so when I diss, you wouldn't want to answer this. M's anger is present throughout, and he says, You can try this at home, you can be just like me. Finally, what's his name? Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Coming in at number 6 is Eminem's My Name Is. While creating the beat with Dr. Dre, M would say that the title of the track was the first thing that came out of my mouth that first day I was at Dre's house. Coming in at number 5 is the way I am. The track seethes with rage and M achieved something that no other rapper had ever accomplished. He sprinkles lyrics in between carefully placed beats and he makes it look easy. The way I am will always be one of Eminem's most iconic songs. Coming in at number 4 is Without Me. Here M pokes fun at his mom and the vice president of the United States. This is one of his best beats and you gotta love the saxophone. In third place is The Real Slim Shady. This is some of the King of Detroit's finest work and and it made enemies with the entire music business in 2000. In second place is Stan. Here M tells a classic tale of an obsessed fan. M used the song as a cautionary tale to his own obsessed fans, and it was a magnificent example of his storytelling abilities. In first place is M's crown jewel, Lose Yourself. From the iconic lyrics and a shout out to Mom Spaghetti, to the electric guitar production and the uplifting chorus, Lose Yourself reveals the true power of Eminem. Even Barack Obama is a fan of the track, and was once seen bopping his head to the beat. If you're feeling down, feel like things aren't working out, blare this track for a quick adrenaline fix and feel inspired. Oh, and uh, turn that bass up. What's your favorite Eminem track? That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.